Assumptions are dangerous, especially when they are made in the realm of religion. If a theological belief is based upon a faulty assumption, the religious practice will be in error. The most common assumptions in Christendom are that Saturday is the scriptural Sabbath and Sunday is the day on which Yehoshua was resurrected. These beliefs are built upon another assumption, that the modern week has cycled continuously and without interruption ever since creation. The facts of the Julian calendar, however, prove these assumptions false. The Julian calendar was established in 45 BC. Like the calendar of the Roman Republic before it, the early Julian calendar had an eight-day week. Days of the week on the Republican and early Julian calendars were assigned letters, A through H. All early Julian calendars, Fasti, still in existence, date from 63 BC to AD 37. An eight-day week is clearly discernible on these stone fragments. It is not to be doubted that the diffusion of the Iranian Persian mysteries has had a considerable part in the general adoption by the pagans of the week with Sunday as a holy day. The names which we employ unawares for the other six days came into use at the same time that Mithraism gained its followers in the provinces in the West. And one is not rash in establishing a relation of coincidence between its triumph and that concomitant phenomenon. As the Roman Empire expanded, it came into contact with Mithraism, which quickly became a popular religious cult in Rome. Mithraism brought a seven-day week with days named after planetary gods. Sunday cannot be the day on which Yahushua arose from the dead, because Sunday did not exist in the eight-day Julian week of his day. Furthermore, Saturday cannot be the true scriptural Sabbath, because the seven-day planetary week originally began on Saturn's day. The Baths of Titus in Rome were built A.D. 79 to 81. A stick calendar was found there which clearly shows Saturn, god of agriculture, as god of the first day of the week. Die Solis, or Sun's Day, can be seen as the second day of the week. Luna, the moon goddess wearing the crescent moon as a diadem, is the third day of the week. The week ends on Venus Day, Dies Veneris, which corresponds to modern Friday, was the seventh day of the week. The pagan planetary week, like the Julian calendar that adopted it, is irreparably pagan. Historical facts reveal that neither the scriptural Sabbath nor the scriptural first day can be found using the modern calendar. If it is important to worship on a specific day, then it is also important to use the correct scriptural calendar to count to that day. The lunisolar calendar of creation, using both sun and moon, is the only means to establish the true seventh-day Sabbath and the correct day of Christ's resurrection. He appointed the moon for seasons. Seasons? Moedim, the worshiping assemblies of Yahuwah's people. There were two calendars available to the Israelites of Yahushua's day. One, the solar Julian calendar with its eight-day week. Two, the lunisolar Hebrew calendar with a seven-day week and a weekly cycle that restarted with each new moon. Which calendar do you think the Israelites and Yahushua used? The day on which you worship, dictated by which calendar you use, reveals who you are worshiping.